to the next group, which has probably got the shortest list of all, and that is the citrus flavored mangoes, mm -hmm. which I break into two categories of citrus. So citrus flavored mangoes, um, as the name would suggest, the dominant terpenes in that are what you would find in, uh, an orange or, uh, a tangerine or a tangelo or something like that. And, uh, so that group, um, I made two subcategories for that. There's one that I called the Burmese citrus group. That is, uh, mangoes descended from the, the, uh, Popu Calais, which is now known as lemon meringue in South Florida. Uh, examples of that would be the orange sherbet, uh, the, uh, lemon zest and, uh, the Malika mango, which is probably distantly dis uh, related to the lemon meringue, um, because it's descended from a mango from Northern India called the Dashiri that has a citrus profile as well. So pretty short list of membership in that group. I can't really think of anything else off the top of my head that belongs in that group uh, by name. And then there's what we call the Gary citrus, which is uh, like the name suggests citrus flavored mangoes that, that got that citrus flavor from the Gary hybridization. So uh, orange essence and seacrest or what is now sometimes called triple sec. Yeah. Are good examples of that Gary citrus group. Of course, the Gary mango itself has that flavor in it. And a few of the other numbered hybrids have that flavor as well. And that's about it. Do you like so, the name changes? The, which name changes? Seacrest to Seacrest to Triple Set. Uh, and then some of the well, others that have happened. The only reason I don't, the only reason I don't like is obviously it's Gary's business, not mine. <laughs> uh, he can, he's the one that invented them. So like he can name whatever he wants, yeah. uh, is that we have to change the labels on stuff later on, or we have to put like a slash when I'm collecting Budwood, uh, or are on the website. Yeah. Um, that's the only frustrating aspect about it. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. I think there was so one much. I asked you about a couple of years ago. It was either sunrise or sunset. And I forget what the other, like, wasn't it a numbered one or something? I, I can't remember. Was there an original name for one of those or am I um, thinking of something? Are you talking about the hybrids from Gary's project well, or something else? I might be thinking of something else, but I thought I'd asked you about a particular mango. Then you said, oh no, it's been renamed and it's now called. Super Alfonso has been renamed a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, like it may have been Fruit Punch. No, Fruit Punch has always been called Fruit Punch. But before yeah. that, it was M17 or M23. I can't remember. Maybe. But it was one of those. No, no, it was, I'm pretty sure it was M23. Uh, but Maybe anyway, that's what it was. It was a numbered one I was looking at. Well, all the number ones that got, got named got a name at some point. Yeah. But like a lot of the numbered ones started out with one name and they changed to another one. So for example, Lemon Zest was originally being called Orange Sherbert. And they, oh. uh, then they, then the Orange Sherbert came around and it was more productive than the Lemon Zest and more commercially viable. So they attached that name onto, uh, it was G32. Lemon Zest was 27 1. And, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. but, but 36 eight has been called India. I think Indira, Super Alfonso and at least one other new one. So I think that one's had four names. Um, maybe from more, uh, Seacrest, then that name triple sec. Uh, and there's a few others. Marlis. Yeah. Marlis. Okay. So the, that's DW 14, uh, or DW 10. I can't remember. I'm, I'm mixing up my numbers here. I should know that. Uh, Anyway, that was being called Marlis, and then Marlis still wasn't a huge fan of it. So I think uh, they changed the name to All Summer um, because it's got a very long season. Yeah. So that could be a whole video unto itself, mangas that have that go under multiple names. Another day, we'll get that. Right? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, within the trade, I try to label, like, on our website, we give every name that that mango has because you can end up with duplicates, you know, without trying because... Um, if a mango is carrying one name at one nursery and a different name at another, you can end up thinking you're buying two different trees and you're actually just getting the same. So go to the Latin name. Yeah. All right. So right here, right now, exclusive. Uh -oh. Let's name the M4 mango. What would you go with? Uh, I think Gary might have, I don't want to comment on that because I think he might have a name in mind for that. Uh, I always, uh, so polite. a couple of, well, you know, I, uh, no, I, I, I have to, uh, ascribe a lot of my success to Gary. So, uh, but, you know, it's obviously something coconut related. So I used to, uh, think that sugar loaf tasted like a mounds bar. Like, again, so you never had a mounds candy bar yeah. and coke that intense coconut flavor. It's almost, you know, like, uh, 
I thought if you named it that, you'd have probably a problem, I guess, or something like that, you know? So, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to think of that. And I'd just call it a four, and I don't, I, I, if I was the best slap name, I'd probably offer Gary some money or something to give it the naming rights. Um, you know, Gary did give some of those rights to Richard Campbell, uh, and Richard gave names to some of those hybrids. Um, and now, and then, they later on got another name, so there's examples of that too. Like there's uh, a mango called uh, fruit cocktail, which Gosh. is a very good mango. It's in the Indian West Indian group. And fruit cocktail, uh, Richard was calling sunburst, I believe. That was it. I knew oh, okay. it was, that was the sun. So fruit. I was with the sun and I had the fruit. I just yeah, figured yeah, it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that was it. So Richard had that under the name sunburst, and then they the nursery started calling it fruit cocktail. Okay. Uh, and uh, there's a couple other things like that. Well, Karen Michelle. No, Karen Michelle's named after uh, Richard Campbell's uh, brother's wife, actually. And that one, the name, I don't think has been changed. Uh, I think they've propagated it at the nursery under that name, too. Uh, that's Craig. Craig um, but definitely there's others. So we could come up with a whole list. We'll of have to save this part of the video yeah. and I'll put it in as a name naming video. Right. Yeah. That would be a good uh, one, though. Okay, so, and then, um, but, okay, so that, we pretty much covered all the I flavor so. groups, I think. I don't yeah, think yeah. I'm leaving anything out. 